It's a relief. It's been three years since we shot the movie. Um, I'm thrilled that it's going to be in a cinema. I haven't even seen the film in a cinema. I haven't ever watched it with people. I'm going to be like a pure fan because I can hardly remember the movie. It's been so long. Um, but I think uh, we will have to fight to keep cinema alive and hopefully this will help cinema stay where it needs to be. Well, the actual story was in Kingsman Secret Service when Harry Hart explained to Eggsy how Kingsman was born and what and why and when. And then I saw a movie called The Man, well, Reese saw a movie called uh, The Man Who Would Be King. And I thought, why don't we do The Man Who Would Be Kingsman? And decided to make an epic sort of historical adventure and it fit, fitted Kingsman. And I wanted to go back to the movies that I loved as a kid and try and make it for a modern audience. Uh, difficult, really difficult, because you know we couldn't change history and history wasn't necessarily designed for the structure of a screenplay. But we got there, we just had to, take the challenge of historical events and interweave a fun fictional story around some very serious moments. Dream come true. They were all a delight. They're all brilliant actors. They all brought so much more to their characters than that was written. And I learned a lot from them and I hope I get to do another movie with them. They were great. The cast was a dream come true, literally. It was shot with old lenses. It was designed for, um, it was designed for the app, app. we literally used the lenses that Lawrence Arabia was shot on, rebuilt the damn things, kept breaking. Um, but we shot it for a widescreen experience, not for a telephone iPad experience. So uh, when you go, you do fall into the screen and it envelops you and I hope people, it's worth going to the cinema to see it, it really is. The fans can, the fans can expect uh, a epic, engaging entertainment.